ready to torch calories and fire up that metabolism with this 45 minute workout. All you need is a pair of light free weights. Let's do this. All right, you guys, we're gonna start with a nice, easy warm up. This is our hip opener. So as we're getting started here, I'm gonna introduce my two fabulous ladies behind me. We've got mm -hmm. Dre. She's gonna be showing you all the modifications today, so watch out for her because these moves are gonna get tough. We also have our ASICS Firm and Elite athlete, <laughs> Rachel. She's in the house, ready to walk you through these moves and sweat it out with us. Oh yeah. So really thinking about right here, pulling the foot away from the body, opening up the knee. It takes a little balance. And if you're tight in your hips like I am right now, I'm like, oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh, I'm feeling, feeling it today. Feels this is good. a great way to open up the hips and to get that heart rate up a little bit. Remember today you're gonna to be sweating, you guys, and it is going to be rough. So make sure you have lightweight clothing on, all right? And so that you can breathe and you can kind of work your way through this 45 minute workout. All right, switching it up, we're gonna go into a sumo squat side step. So open up your toes here a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna have you take a side step out, go into a little sumo squat, bring it together, all right? Now make sure you got water around you as well. Maybe a towel, you're gonna need that too because we're gonna be dripping, hopefully, set side to side. Here you wanna keep that upright posture and just opening up those knees. If you wanted to add that little bit of a push with the knees open, you could. And you also don't have to go super low on this. Breathe it out. The calm before the storm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> getting loose, getting yep. warm. Exactly. So we've got a nice, warm up here, but all dynamic moves so that we're also working the muscles, we're getting them stretched out, working on that mobility a little bit. <sighs> Last couple. Opening those hips. Good job, nice, Rachel. Good, Brad, last one. Good, and relax. Now we're gonna go from a heel to toe. So heel to toe is just rocking back and forth, and we're gonna add a shoulder circle. So you can kind of get that shoulder circle going along with the heel to toe. So we're getting the ankles, and I'm gonna fall a few times on this one. This one's fun. Feels like you're in a rock <laughs> or something. Right back exactly. into it. We're opening the shoulders, but we're also opening the ankles, right? Oh, so we've yeah. got a lot going on here. We're kind of double whammy in it so that we're not just standing here doing shoulder circles, which is great. But we're adding that roll, so we're challenging our balance and our shins and our calves. Let's switch directions on the shoulder circles. So now we're going forward and back. Good, breathe it out. That's it. And if you also needed to support yourself here, you could. If you needed to hold on to something and kind of do it separate, you could do that. Good, nice job, you guys. Last two. Give me one more. Beautiful, I Ooh. love the way that starts to burn. Yeah. Now we're gonna go into a straight leg kick. Give yourself some room here. As you kind of give it a little shuffle in between, you're gonna switch sides back and forth. Really trying to open up your hamstring and activating the quads and hip flexors here. You also get those lower abs too. Oh yeah. Oh, so wow. really tighten up the core as you kick that leg straight. Get a nice a long leg too. If that knee is bent, then you know you need to work on your hamstring <laughs> flexibility a little bit. You know I do. <laughs> so work on getting that leg straight by kicking that heel away from your body, right? So you're extending the bottom of the leg. <sighs> Flexing that leg up. Good, Dre, nice job. Breathing. Yeah, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, I like this one. This is kind of the calm before the storm, but you guys should always warm up like an athlete, like our athlete right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to do these in our warm up every day, yeah. yeah. So before a, a run, one. you don't just start running. Right, you get the movement going through the body. Especially these dynamic moves, exactly. I love these. Cause you're getting the flow, right? All right, next we're gonna go through a little lateral shuffle and straight leg, well we're gonna go into a squat and straight arm raise. So I want you to give me a little lateral high knee across your mat, then have your feet about hip width apart, squat and reach. Let's do two of those, big reach up, hips are back, good. And let's go back. High knee, pump those arms, Good, and then you're doing a squat and reach. So this is just warming up that low back. It's getting the arms and shoulders. It's getting that heart rate up. Good job, ladies. You don't have far to go, but <laughs> we're making you kind of spike that heart rate up a little bit. All the way back, looking good. Woo! Nice and warm. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. And Dre's showing you that all you gotta do is give it a little shuffle too. You don't have to get the knees too high if you don't want that impact. Right? 
Good, nice long, raise it up. One more, going all the way back. Pick it up, come on, come on, come on. Last Getting the one. body ready. Good, raise it up. Shh, breathe it out. Woo, Woo ladies, okay. Good. We're gonna bring Good it down water. to the floor. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, I'm good, Anna, see you later. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go into a burpee and straight arm push up. So, you're gonna go down into a burpee, jump out or walk your feet out, and I want you to do a straight arm push up. So you're not bending your elbows at all, you're pinching and pressing your shoulder blades. All right, this one's really a good challenge for that shoulder girdle. And then we're gonna jump back in, or walk it in, raise those arms up, reach to the sky, stretch, stretch, and then back down. So your hands should be pretty close here as you go down to the floor. The closer your hands are, the easier it is for you to pinch and press those shoulder blades. All right, this is getting all those small muscle groups around your shoulder girdle. Oh yeah. Feeling it, guys? That. Yeah. Jump it in or walk it in. Raise those arms, reach your body long. Good, down, jump it out. Abs are tight here, so you are working a little bit of core. Shh. Breathe it out. Shoulders should be fired up at this oh, point. Yeah. This oh, yeah. Sexy, <laughs> sexy tank workout. <laughs> Jump it in and reach it up to the sky. Good. All right, you guys. We're going to go into a single legged hop next. All right, so Dre's going to roll up on the toes, back on the heels to keep working on her ankle mobility. Yeah, just like that. We're going to be bouncing off one foot. This gets those lower, yes, those lower leg muscles. Half working. This is an elite runner right here, you guys. <laughs> She's fast, so she does this. You gotta work up to this pace here, working the lower legs. Switch sides. Other side, good. Good, bounce off the balls of the feet. Hopefully you're starting to perspire a little bit. <laughs> Feel a little Getting sweat. Getting working. Yes, good. Those Make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes. <laughs> good. Let's switch to the other side. One more time on each. Just a couple more seconds. Good. Breathe it out. Now, Dre, you feel that, right? On your oh, shins, yeah, too? Absolutely. And switch other side. Quads Good, Rachel, nice me. Sometimes I like to nice add a little more. lateral yeah. side to side. I like that. Add a yeah. little variety. Hot Good, scotch. and relax. All right, you guys. <laughs> now we're gonna open up the back side of the body with the good morning. So feet are hip width apart, hands start on the hips, and I'm gonna have you do a nice good morning, dropping your chest to the floor, but keeping your back serious, nice and straight, and then come up nice and tall. Good, keep your chest high here. Make sure you're looking up so that you're keeping that back nice and flat, feeling that stretch throughout the back of the hamstrings, and really, just really activating those glutes and hammies. Bring your feet closer together a little bit, Dre, because you want to have a good stretch there for me. Good, beautiful, and then come up tall. You're squeezing the glutes at the top, if you wanted to advance it, you could bring your hands up to the head here or all the way straight. I know some of you are advanced. I know Rachel probably is like, okay, and I got a little more than Too that. Easy. You can go up here, Rachel. I'll go up here. All right. Going down and up, getting a nice extension. You guys look awesome. You can go straight legs. I mean, straight arms over the head. And this is the most weight you can have without adding now free weights in your hand. This is a great way to open up in the morning. If you guys, there's a reason they call it good morning, right? <laughs> open up those hammies, good. And jog it out a little bit. Now, next we're gonna go into a jump rope with high knee. All right, watch my girl Dre while she goes into a little high knee skip. And yes, Rachel's already in it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I know this girl. Go for it. <laughs> That's right, so we're thinking we'll get our jump rope in our hand. We're keeping our abs engaged. We're picking those knees up nice and high. And we are running. I like oh, this, yeah. my girls back here. Yes. That's right, have a little fun now. I'll jump from here. <laughs> we got 45 minutes together. We gotta start getting friendly, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. guys ready for this? Doing good, a couple more seconds here. Breathe it Keep out. It up. And relax. Now, the last warm up move I want you to do is an active hip flexor extension, okay? So Dre's gonna show you from the knee how she's gonna go in and she's gonna shift forward and then back. Rachel and I are gonna tuck our back toe and we're gonna extend the back leg, holding ourselves low to the ground and then touching back. All right, so it's extension, holding, good. And then relaxing, right? So here I'm flexing my back glute right here, extending that hip flexor and then touching down. One more on this side, extend. Feel that, Rach? Oh yeah. Good. Good stretch. Dre, you like that? Oh yeah. And down. Let's switch sides. Yeah, open it up. I know I need to open up my hips. Oh my gosh. Everybody, right? Because we're always sitting, we're driving. 
Good, and we're using those hip flexors for a lot of these moves. Good, and then tap it down. So it's a really intense stretch, so that's why we do a little active release where we hold and then we relax, okay? So it's a hold, squeezing that back glute, really keeping that leg long, getting that nice extension, and then drop. One more, up, good, extend, and drop. All right, let's come on to our feet. Woo. Now, we're gonna warm up with a core circuit because you know how I love to activate the core. With the around the world, so here, we're thinking about bending the knees and bringing that free weight up and around the body. <sighs> around the world, make it a big circle, right? So we're getting activating the shoulders, the core muscles, a little bit of the legs, and we're giving that little bit of a rotation through the torso. <sighs> Breathe. Let's go the other way. Yeah, and we're going down and around. <laughs> Remember, you don't need a heavy weight here, but you guys can hold on to a little bit of a heavier weight if you want to, as long as it's under control and you're controlling that movement and not letting that weight propel you. You have control with all your muscles and your core and your shoulders in your hips. Shh, go back and forth, doing good. Breathing it out. Awesome, a couple more. Last one, boom, and we're up. All right, now let's drop it to the floor and we're gonna go into one of my favorites, the plank and side plank lift. So we're gonna start here in just a regular plank position. All right, and what we're gonna do is a shift onto the side of the feet, onto the elbow, and we're gonna lift for one, lift for two, lift for three, back into a plank. We're gonna pause here, and then we're gonna switch sides. So we're down, we're gonna lift one. Good job, and Dre's going from the knee so she can give herself a little support. Good, and once we get three, we're right back onto those elbows. And so we're stabilizing the entire body here. Let's switch, going up. We're just gonna get a couple on each side. Two, three. And this makes planking more fun, doesn't it, you guys? Oh yeah. <laughs> because who likes to just hold a plank? It's so boring. <laughs> I it drives me crazy. <laughs> so I have to be moving, I don't know what it is. Let's get three, good, and relax, awesome. All right, now we're gonna go into a kneeling chop. So with this, you're just gonna grab one of your weights and you're gonna go on one knee. So make sure you got a cushion under your knee. Do you feel comfortable there on, on kneeling position? You're gonna come across the body and then across the knee. So it's a kneeling wood chopper. Bam! We're going up and down. Bam! You gotta do this. Have <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know? that's all necessary. Thank you! I can't work out without sound effects. Right? You guys know that. Bam. It's either bam or was ah. <laughs> Good, going back and forth. You guys look great. Bring it up and down and let's switch it up. So we're getting a couple on each side here. I really want you to be able to, you know, feel that stability through your torso. Now don't go heavy weights with this at first, but you can build up your weight on this one, right? Oh yeah, I'm feeling strong so, yeah. with this one. I feel good with a five pound <laughs> dumbbell right now. Oh yeah. Because I'm in control. Good. Especially keeping those arms straight. It gets hard after a yes, while. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Arms and shoulders start to burn and you're like, wait, what happened? <laughs> Good, last one. That's the fineness sitting in, girl. And relax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna come into a butterfly crunch. Dre's gonna show you with her knees fairly close together, and we're gonna butterfly all the way open. Bottom of the feet are together, and we're gonna lift the shoulders, lift the feet, squeeze, and then lower down. So this crunch, we're lifting, oh man, we're using all of those abdominal wall muscles yes, right now. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes. So go at your own pace here, but try to pause at the top. I know that's the hardest part, is when you get up here, you're like, ah, I'm ready to drop. And then just give it that pause and then come down. Good, work it at your own pace. Shh. Lifting up. And by Dre having her knees a little closer together, it makes her legs a little less heavy for the core to lift because she's got a little more help from her hip flexors. But here, butterfly all the way is gonna be the most challenging. Oh, so yeah. do what you feel good with, okay? I still feel it though. Exactly. You still feel it. Yeah. <laughs> good, and relax. Now roll up and grab one of your free weights for the bicycle. Now here, we're gonna be leaning back, but we're only bicycling our legs, all right? Dre's gonna tap, all right? Extending one leg and then the other. We're trying to kick the heel out and away from our body and we're cycling those legs. 
pretend as if you're riding a bike. Woo. Looking good, Rachel. Yeah. I love training my so athletes. <laughs> good, because it's challenging, you it guys. Is challenging. So if you gotta let go of the weight, you can let go of the weight. All right, you can also use your hands here. If you want a bicycle with a little bit more stability, it's up to you. Right? Breathe it out. Hip flexors. Burn it. Hip yeah. flexors. The if your core. hip flexors really start to burn, you might want to do the tap like Dre is and going back and forth, giving them a little bit of a breather in between. And relax. Let's go back up onto our feet for our around the world. We're going to go one more set through these core moves. So now that you know them, you can give me a little more effort, a little bit more pizzow. Yeah. <laughs> a little no bam. Right? Good. Like you mean it. Get into your flow, get into your breath. Get, get, get aggressive with this one, with this circuit. Good, you guys, you look great. Let's switch up directions. And I like how we're all on pace here. <laughs> you guys are good. Good, that's it. Here, keeping those arms nice and long. Think about your core right now. Tighten it up, tighten those abs up. Make sure you're twisting from that torso. Get all you can out of the workout. Yes, yeah. that's it, girl. That's right. Back and forth, nice. Shoulders get a nice work here, oh, yeah. but it's light enough so that it doesn't burn too bad. Get you ready for a couple of the other moves coming up. Oh yeah. Good yeah. and relax, come on down. We're gonna go back into that plank and side plank. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot how good this one was. <laughs> I was already feeling it. So I was about to skip this one. So we're right here, planking. Let's rotate open. Side plank for three. Good, two, three, and we come back into a plank. We hold here, pausing for a second, and then we rotate onto the other side. Lifting, two, three, good. Back into that plank, pausing for a breath. Abs are in tight, rotate. Lifting for three, good, two, hello. <laughs> good, last one. Hold it, planking. Good, switch, go for three. One, two, and three. And I love how your shoulders are still engaged on that one. Yeah. You know, you're still working a lot of muscle groups at the same time. You're really dialing into the core muscles. Now let's go across with the wood chopper. Across the knee, up over the body. So the important thing here is to not let yourself rotate and open up your hips. It's easy to let that knee open up. You wanna keep your core engaged, so you're gonna feel this huge stretch right from the side of the body here. Good, I'll get on pace with these guys so it looks pretty good. Down and back, but think about tightening up your abs as you bring that weight over the shoulder, so you're stopping the weight with those core muscles and those obliques. Let's switch, other side, right? So hips stay stable, this knee stays facing the front. Lengthen, and like Rachel said, keeping those arms long, right? Because okay. you got that long lever to make it hard and challenging on your core. Your core and your shoulders. That's oh, right, because yeah. think about <laughs> if you added two pounds to your weight right now, how much harder that would feel, but you will work up the strength to that. Yes. Good, last couple seconds here. Good work. Breathe it out, nice. Thank you. I like being cheered on by my team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, coming down, we're gonna go back into that butterfly, right? So we're gonna open up, we're gonna butterfly it out. Ooh, I love this one, it's such a good challenge. So let's lift. That's it. Going at your own pace here. Remember, the challenge is at the top. Think about pressing your low back into the floor as you lift your chest up. Lift, press your back. Good, haha, <laughs> I felt that more when I thought about it. Yes. Right, so pressing the back down, lifting the chest and feet. And it doesn't have to be super high, right? Breathe. Exhaling on the way up. That's the way. You guys are awesome. Rock stars, rock stars, that is. Good. Hello, core. <laughs> That's it. One more. Squeeze and relax. All right, grab that free weight. All right, I know this Bye one's time. a good challenge. Yeah, bicycle it out. Ready? All right, let's go. Now remember, here, it's easy to start hunching, right? So you gotta keep that upright posture. That's the hard part. Think about your heel kicking away. When you do that, it's gonna activate your quads, which is gonna make it a little less hard on your, on your hip flexors, right? But you're just trying to sit up and trying to bicycle it out. Remember, you can tap, tap if you need to, or drop the weight, use your hands. 
right? There's so many modifications for this one. You guys are doing great. Breathe it out. Last three, two, one, and done. Not All done, right. done, but <laughs> done that move, okay? Yeah, I done. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have you guys take both of your weights. We're gonna get into a lower body circuit now. All right, so don't hate me because your legs are going to. All right, but you have to still love me, all right? So we're gonna tomorrow, start. Though. Yeah, tomorrow you can kind of, you can say bad things to me on YouTube. It's okay, I appreciate the comments. So we're down in that split lunge and we're gonna do an alternating overhead press. So we're stabilizing in the legs, keep an upright posture. I know it burns to hold, so if you gotta, you know, decrease the depth you're in, that's okay. You can show them that, Dre. You don't have to go all the way down to 90 degree bend. But if you're in that 90 degree bend, it's gonna hurt oh, yeah. in a good way. Good, in let's the best switch way, sides. Anna. In the, in the best <laughs> way possible. All right, switch sides. Hurt so good. Yeah. And you have weights in your hands, so you're heavier now, right? So you're feeling that burning through the shoulders. Core has to stabilize, because you got something in your arms now, right? Working all the muscles. Yeah, we're working everything right now. Good, you guys looking great. Breathe it out. Two. Good, let's get one more. And let's come all the way up. Now, we're gonna go into a forward and backward hop, okay? So Dre's not gonna do the jump, she's gonna do the step. So if you're modifying, you're stepping on the mat, and you're adding that squat. Rachel and I, go ahead, Rach. We're gonna go right here. Little squat hop, boom, and boom. You like my, you didn't like my soundtrack for that one? I did. <laughs> your soundtrack is always amazing, Good, Anna. or you're stepping off, <laughs> and you're adding that squat. Or you're dropping the weights completely, and that's okay too. Maybe you wanna go in the middle, right? And relax, beautiful. Now, you can always drop your weight for any of these moves, you guys, okay? All right, if you need to, we're gonna go into a quick jack. Holding your weight, we're apart and together. So, core is strong, right? Abs are tight, quick feet. Remember, yeah, good. <laughs> I was like, you can modify this one. <laughs> Making sure Dre's got you covered over there. Good job. I got him, man, I got him. <laughs> now, I don't know if you feel it, but Rach. Oh, I definitely weight, feel that. <laughs> Weights during this are no joke. You no just joke. five pounds, you know? Yeah, exactly. And relax, okay. Sexy biceps, yes. Water? Yes. yes. Water sip, sip. Oh, yes. Get a, grab a small sip, sure remember. Hydrating. All you're doing is taking a sip. Nobody guzzle, or your stomach is gonna not be your friend in a second. <laughs> so True rinse story. the mouth out, wipe the brow, grab your free weights. Round two, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, so split lunge. We're going back, okay? So open up, nice wide stance. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and let's press up and out. Good. Stabilize. Good, really working. Remember, your weight is pressing through that front heel. All right? And you got weight on the back toe, but most of the weight's on that front heel. So you're really activating that hamstring and that glute as well as the quadricep. That whole thigh is working. That's what I love about this one. Like I said earlier, it's just every muscle. Yes. Every single it's like, isometric really piece of Switch. <laughs> goodness. Switch. And when you focus on your form, hopefully by the time you're ready to switch it up, your focus has been distracted for a little while. Right? Distracted from the pain, Anna? Is that what you mean? <laughs> from the burn. From the burn, yes. <laughs> exactly. Good. You guys look awesome. Shh, breathe it out. Shh. Back and forth. Nice. Yeah? Oh yeah. Last one and come up. Nice job. So for this second round, set your weights down. We're gonna go the hops back and forth. I want you to be free. We'll grab them in another second. Don't worry. If you're missing your weights already, I was grab them. I'm missing my weights, Anna. I'm sorry, but I'm know? sorry. I'm so sorry. Good, but this set, I want you to use your arms. I want you to use a little momentum and propel yourself. Notice how Rachel could probably do like a 50 like, <laughs> foot long jump, right? But, but what she does when she jumps that far is she's gotta use her arms, right? So we're not really jumping to the moon, but we're using a lot of force. Yeah, oh, look yeah. at that. Look at your shoulders are gonna get ripped like a long jumper. So use that move. 
propel yourself forward. Back and forth. A couple more seconds, you can do it. I know, I know you're you're still my friend, right? Oh, my quads you guys are, are still my nice. Friend. Oh yeah, good. My quads still and relax. <laughs> Shake it out. <laughs> Grab your free weights. All right, so jump and jack feet. We're gonna open and close. Ready? And go. In and out, fast, fast feet. Big feet. I'm gonna go hang out with my chicks back here, oh, yeah. but then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Doing good. Nice work, breathe it out. Not an easy one. No. Almost there. Three, two, one. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, wait. We might as well just hold on to our weight. Yeah. Unless you need a sip of Keep water. Keep the party going. <laughs> You're normal if you can't breathe right now. <laughs> Just so you know. We're out there. Elite yeah. athlete is breathing heavy. Uh, you should be too. Uh, All right, here we go. Ready? Split lunge. We're dropping it down. Am I on the wrong leg? Who cares? Who cares? Here we go. We do both. <laughs> I say that a lot in my own workouts. I'm like, wait, did I do that side? <laughs> it's normal. Just make sure you switch in between. Shh. Nice work. You want to challenge yourself more this time, get a little lower to the floor. All right, keep that upright posture. Keep your breath flowing. You're doing awesome. Breathe it out. It's your last round. I promise. Then we're going to switch to upper body. I promise. <laughs> I promise. And then a different part of your body. Will yes. <laughs> and then we'll work a different part of the body. Good. Last two. One. And come up. Let's switch it out. My leg was like. <laughs> I'm not sure I can, Anna. You can do we it. We bow come down on. to Anna. Remember too, like no lie, you can come up from that lunge and just go into that shoulder press. You know, Dre's not too low. If you want to sink it down, your legs are fine, right? They're burning, but they're fine. But be safe here. If you're gonna fall over, come up a little bit instead of sinking super low. Shh. Good. You guys are breathing. Yourself I'm breathing. I am too, man. That burn. I am working hard. It smooths out that burn. Right now. <laughs> Good. Two more. Two. And come up. Okay. So I'm giving you the choice. Two weights, one weight, and a weight for the squat jumps. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm going to. I'm rolling yeah, with you, Anna. Let's do it. What we are got you going to do we out there? This. Who's got this? Let's go. You got it. In and out. So it's a little soft hop. Now you don't have help from the arms, so it's much harder. A little harder, yeah. <laughs> but we got this. We got this. Sit back in your heels when you land, so you use your butt force. That's gonna be a new thing, right? The butt force. The butt force. The force of your glutes. There's nothing like it. <laughs> the butt force. It's one of the biggest muscles the in your body. butt force be with you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm a huge Star Wars fan, okay? Good, back and forth. Almost there. Three, two, one. Oh my Woo! God. That's okay. A, that butt force action. Anybody? Did that. <laughs> Is your butt force with you? Oh yeah. All right, all right, all right. Silly girls. Let's go, in and out. Back and forth. Breathe. Good, in and out. Shh. I'm so glad I'm not wearing a sweater today. <laughs> that Gotta work. keep that it would light. Not work. Light clothing, people. You're sweating it out. Breathe it out. Just think about how much you're making it work today. You should be so proud of yourself. Way to take the time, baby. Oh, yeah. You got this. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, all right. One more sip. Before we go into our upper body, which my shoulders, I'm like. On fire. Um, oh, yeah. Are we doing upper body, Anna? <laughs> yes, kind of. Yeah. All right. You know now you're doing it right. You're gonna grab both your weights <laughs> for this one. And we're gonna do a single-legged row. Dre, show them the one modified. Mm. All right, you're gonna kick that back leg up. You're gonna kick that heel out, and we're gonna row. There's a slight bend in that front knee. All right, elbows staying tight to the body, and you're squeezing those weights up. All Balance right. on this one. That's right. Oh, so I if just you fell. lose it, <laughs> if you lose it, just tap down and then try to bring it back up, right? Because it's all about just working at your own pace 
If you're stabilizing, that butt should be on fire. Good, and switch. Other side. So we can show it either way. Want you guys to make sure you can see that I got more stability on this side. <laughs> Just kidding. Good, they're both pretty unstable, but when your butt's on fire, exhale on the way up. Remember to keep those elbows in tight. Pinch and extend. There's that pinch at the top and then that extension. Pinch and extend. That's a full body yeah. joint. Oh, yeah. yeah. And relax, okay? Ooh. Beautiful. Drop it down to the floor. You're going to drop your weights for a moment. And we're going to do a perfect push-up. Now, I teach what a perfect push-up looks like. And I think this is it. But you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. So, you can go from your knees or your toes. You're going to slowly drop all the way to the floor. You're going to pick your hands up off the floor and pinch your shoulder blades together. So you work your back too. And then press through the floor and pick your whole body up as one unit. All right, drop it down slow. Slow, pinch, and press. Boom. Good job, you guys. Slow, so you're doing a negative push-up. You work in the back, pinch the shoulder blades, press up, use the chest and shoulders and tries. I think that's a perfect push-up. Absolutely. I, I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's hard to do, so you gotta go from your knees. That's okay. Last one. Pinch. Oh, you know that if you do like five to 10 of those, you're getting so strong, okay? So grab your free weights now, and we're gonna do a chest, fly, and tricep combo. All right, Rachel's gonna show you while she's working her core a little bit with her feet off the ground. Dre's gonna keep hers on the floor, and we're just gonna do a nice little skull crusher, dropping the weights towards the ears, and then extend up, bend the elbows, open the chest, and bring it together. So you're just alternating here. All right, back and forth. Go at your own pace. All right, whatever weights you have at home. Maybe there's some water bottles around that you can grab. All right, if you wanna add a little bit of core to this, you can extend your legs as you do the move. Or you could just extend one leg, right? If you're like, wait, Anna, what are you, crazy? <laughs> what are you doing, girl? All right, but doing that challenges, if you, if you mess up, that's because you're trying to do too many things at once, right? <laughs> so just going back and forth, going triceps and going chest. I like to add the leg extension every once in a while. I like that feeling, that pull. You guys are doing great. A couple more seconds, breathe it out. Good, remember elbows up towards the sky. We are working. Breathe and relax. All right, come back up to the feet. Let's go back into those single-legged rows. Are you ready? Okay, so we're on one foot. Remember, we're trying to kick that back leg up, keeping a nice straight alignment with the body. The front leg is slightly bent, so you're not straight-legged. You got a nice slight bend in that knee. All right, and this is working that glute, working the hamstring a little bit. You guys doing okay? Oh, yeah. The neuromuscular system warms up a little and then your balance is a little better. <laughs> but if it's not, lean up against your couch, <laughs> right? Lean up against your couch or your table and switch sides. And this is gonna help you work up to that balance on your own. Good, kicking that heel back is gonna create a flex in the glute to help you with your balance. So flex that foot and flex that glute. Good, to try to really align yourself. Good, chest is up nice and high. Abs are in tight. Triceps say yeah. I know yeah. everything is working for me. Good, one more. Oh, just in time. Sorry, Rachel, I missed Sorry. you up. She was like, I want to get one like, more. One more. Back down to our perfect push-up. Here we go, guys. You're looking great. So here, make sure you've got a good distance from your arms. I mean, in, in between your hands. So you can drop down, your chest goes all the way. And when you pick those hands up, you should be pushing from the floor, right where your chest is. Should be alignment right there, it's perfect. Slowly on the way down, pick your hands up. Wherever your hands naturally go to press up, that's the where it should be. Pinch, press. Now try not to let your belly be the last thing that comes off the floor. A lot of times people are like this. They do a body roll. <laughs> Which is okay, but work your way up by going 
from the knees so your body's a unit. So that's gonna be working your core more. Oh, this is good. An when actual body, push up, not you, a belly up. <laughs> <laughs> when your body says, I don't wanna come up from the floor, you're pretty much done. All right, you guys. Now let's grab our weights again. We're going back into the tries and the chest fly. So obviously we're supersetting the upper body here because this is what you work when you're doing the perfect push up. You're working your triceps, you're working your chest, right? So there's a lot going on. And now we're gonna use it with the free weights. It's a little lighter than our body weight, but we gotta stabilize now with our shoulders holding some free weights. And if you want, you can challenge your core. You guys all right? Oh yeah. yeah. Feeling good, feeling great. I'm feeling great. I love it, I'm getting my boost. Getting strong. I'm getting my adrenaline boost right yes. now, my metabolism boost. Oh, yes. <laughs> Remember to keep that breath flowing. Getting that fitness. That's right, girl. I love having an elite <laughs> athlete on set. It's such a pleasure. Absolutely. <laughs> Open it up. Train like Rachel. That's it, train <laughs> like Rachel. It's fun to be here, yeah. That's right. Showing them that we do elite fitness on Pop Sugar. Oh yeah. One more. This is challenging stuff. <laughs> Thank you, girl. So the audience, you guys know you're working out hardcore. Oh yeah. All right, let's roll it back up. Are you guys ready for a third round? I think I'm ready. ready. Okay. I'm ready. Let's do it. If she's ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> All I right, think they're ready. Yeah. Yes. They got yes. this. Let's do this, guys. All right, so back leg is up. Kick that heel back. Stabilize and row. Keeping my balance. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's like, no distractions. Good. Staring at that spot on the floor. Exactly. Zoned in. Find your target. You gotta use your sound effects to keep your balance. That's right. <laughs> use your sound effects, which should be your breath. It should be a shh. Good. Last one on this side. And then let's switch. Your glute should be giving out. So if you're really stabilizing on that leg, kicking your leg up nice and high, row it up. <sighs> Squeeze that back glute, really keep a nice alignment of the body. Remember, you pinch at the top, holding those shoulder blades together. And breathe. And breathe. You don't want to hold Make your breath sure on you this breathe. one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it's like you. when you're focusing, you stop breathing, you're like, ah. Uh. This is so true. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness gracious. Couple. And relax. Oh, Woo. baby. All you right, are. you guys ready? Perfect push up. Oh, yeah. Give me some, whatever you got left. All right. You guys got this. Going all the way up. Remember, it's a negative on the way down. All the way. Slow, pinch, and press. Good. Slow, slow, slow. Awesome. And press. Yeah, we're doing great. Oh, baby. Woo. All right, all right, all right. It's the negative that gets hard for me. Yeah. So as you guys are going so down, controlled. yeah, try to challenge yourself to go slow. I know it's easy to just <laughs> oh, drop, right? Obviously pushing up is hard, but you get so much strength on the negative. Oh, yeah. Good, see if you can get one more. I'm gonna have to go for my knees. <laughs> I felt That's that sound effect. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the last move, but guys, Woo. notice how I've got humility too, you know? I go for my knees when I need to, because I don't compromise form, right? And yeah. I felt it on that last one. I might not come up. <laughs> so I went for my knees. Alright, here we go. Let's work those triceps in the chest. Drop it down and extend. Arms are burning. I love it. Nice. And you know, even as a runner, you gotta have a strong upper body, right? Oh yeah, so, so much, many yeah. people think it's just about yep. legs, but having a strong, strong arms, you know? Yep. Strong arms, strong core. Keeping that form. Exactly, it gives you so much of your power. Mm -hmm. Keeps you from getting hurt as yep. well. Yes. Gotta be total body fitness, right? Right. So, really important, you guys. Even if you're like, I don't need weights, I'm a runner. Yeah, you do. You heard you it from Rachel. <laughs> Get those muscles toned and tight. The Firm and Elite team will not take no for an answer. No. Right. <laughs> yeah, we do circuit work all the time. It's great. Stuff just like this. Ooh, last two. Woo. 
and bring it on down. Ooh, all right, yeah. you guys, give yourself a second. We're gonna go through a few stretches. All right, this is really important part of the workout because you just did a lot of work. So first I want you to start with your knees pulled into your chest. Give yourself these next few minutes just to cool down. You just went through a killer strength circuit. And then bring your knees over to the side. Good, rotate your legs, try to keep your chest open, shoulder open. Good, breathe. Give your heart rate a little time. I liked how we kind of finished on some less cardio intensive moves. Yeah. So it's not like we're like <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> At least for me, I'm not huffing and puffing like right. crazy. Good, rotate. So now we can focus on our breath and focus on relaxing the muscles. So as you inhale, inhale, but as you exhale, think about releasing the tension in your body so you sink into your stretch just a little bit more. And I love stretching. It's just so important to prevent that soreness from coming on tomorrow. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. I feel ya. When I don't stretch, I feel it so much differently the next day. It's mm -hmm. just, it's a complete game changer. Now we're gonna bring one ankle up over the knee and we're gonna go into that figure four stretch. So this might feel just enough for you, right? Or you can kind of thread your hands between the thigh and hold that thigh so that you bring that foot closer. Now the whole goal here is not to yank your foot towards your chest, <laughs> it's to hold yourself in this, pick, um, this position and open your knee away from your body. So you're rotating, opening the knee away, and if you can do that, then you can pull your foot in closer. But you don't want the whole body to just yank that leg in. You want to think about rotating and opening the knee open. You guys feel that? Yeah, oh, nice yeah. stretch. This nice is stretch. one of my favorites. So good. Open the hip, mm -hmm. the glute, the hammies. <laughs> my it legs all out. are jello right now. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else feel yes. their legs? For that workout, for me, it was legs. For legs, <laughs> I, I mean, the core was good. <sighs> my legs were on fire. And oh, I feel yeah. like my shoulders got a different kind of workout because we worked them in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Even during the core, we were still <laughs> yeah. kind of working our arms. <laughs> right. We had a lot of shoulders. And so we don't have to do shoulder press for all day, right? Yeah. But we held that light Just for the rest freeway. of the day. We covered you for the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had you holding a light freeway in those shoulders for pretty much the entire workout. Yeah. You get to use a pulley for the rest yeah, of the day. Exactly. Good. Nice job. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, and we're gonna come into our side stretch. So we're gonna do a quad extension. So you're gonna grab that toe, bring that heel up towards that glute. If you can, you're gonna take this bottom leg and you're gonna put the foot over the top of that knee and add a little bit of a depression. So you're gonna push down a little bit to get that IT band a little bit as well. It's a good stretch. So you're gonna it's feel an that. awesome stretch. So think about squeezing your glute on the side you're stretching right now and it's gonna, it's gonna enhance that stretch and kind of pull it back into extension a little bit more. You might feel this a little bit in your knee, probably because you're stretching in your IT band and it's saying, I don't like you. <laughs> so what you wanna do is foam roll so that you don't have discomfort in your IT band because it's very hard to stretch an IT band that is tight, chronically tight. Right, and even Rich? just foam rolling those muscles around that IT band, I think really helps to loosen yep. it up. Your quads, your hamstrings, your calves, right? Yes. Very important, you guys. So Everything's connected. Everything is connected. So stretching is an amazing way to cool down. Oh yeah. Open up the <laughs> muscles. Foam rolling is also another way to heal. It's to increase that circulation of blood flow, especially the day after a workout. Oh yeah. It hurts so good. <laughs> <sighs> Just like this workout. Yes. <laughs> Guys, taking it's that time. It's all worth it though. Make sure you're breathing right now and you're just enjoying this time because how often do you let yourself just kind of chill, breathe and stretch? This is almost a form of meditation, right? Because you're just really allowing your body to relax and just focusing in on the stretch and the breath. That's so why relaxing. I love yoga so much. Yeah. So relaxing. Yeah. All right, go ahead and relax that. Now, we're gonna come onto the, um, onto the heels and we're just gonna sit Nice and tall, we're gonna bring us to ourselves into a tricep stretch. So grab that elbow, and bring it up towards the sky and extend nice and long. Just get a nice extension through. Breathe it out. Good. 
Good, other side. Nice breath. Every time you exhale, you're just thinking about releasing the tension in that tricep. Good, just having a little gratitude for all the work you did today. Oh all yeah, you worked hard. Oh, yeah. For your body to be able to get through it, you are incredible. And then let's go with a shoulder stretch. So across the body, And right here, you want to think about dropping the shoulder. Yep. Just making sure to drop that shoulder. Yes. <laughs> like, my don't go any further. <laughs> I'm all shoulder. I'm pretty broad, so it looks like my. <laughs> Hell yeah. It, it's like a lot of times you do the shoulder stretch and everybody's up here. But you want to come across your body and you want to keep that shoulder low. You want to think about dropping it. So you really get that extension through the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can that feel that. That feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it, you're free to go. Good job, Yay! everybody. Awesome. awesome job to my athlete, Rachel. Great job. And always, Dre is always showing up. <laughs>